to come in here anytime soon. Oh, I'm sorry, was I interrupting with that smile? The two of us spring apart as if it... <laughs> yeah, they just caught fire. Lol, he's such an ass. <laughs> Emmy brushes her hair back nervously and laughs. Of <laughs> course not. I'll uh, see you later, okay? And, oh, and his how? Hmm? Take your damn medicine! The last phrase was punctuated by a punch on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember. See you later. Things are escalating. <laughs> the nurse smiles again like he's in on some joke I don't know about and waves to me as I head for my room, feeling a burn in my cheeks. I need a shower. A cold one. If the thoughts running through my head now are any indication, she was really soft. My pills are waiting for me when I make it to the room make it to my room. That was really random. <laughs> I swallowed them without a second thought. I don't know why I didn't think of waiting until after the runs to take them. For some reason I figured it was when I woke up or not at all. But no, they only need to be taken every 24 hours. The exact time of day doesn't factor into it. My thoughts drift back to the hug in the hallway. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, quiet. It's weird. You expect someone to smell foul after a run, but for some reason Emmy smelled right. That tins of sweat just seemed to fit her. I really need that shower. He's gonna fucking faff in that shower he is, goddammit. <laughs> Get the wash, hold your host, slushies on the end of the month. What? I've been recording for three and a half hours, ladies and gentlemen. This is on a roll. Strange that it feels so natural for me to go up to the rooftop these days. I never would have thought I'd done such a thing at my old school. In those days, I like to eat alone. Well, that's not quite true. But I like to sit alone. I like to watch people. I always figured that was sort of the person I was, but it appears I was wrong. Then again, I also thought I was the sort of person who uh, had a normal heart, so there you have it. I don't know myself that well. Now I'm on the roof so that I can have lunch with a couple of people, and they are both girls, which is even stranger. Only enough, I feel closer to Emmy and Rin than I felt to anyone at my old school. Somehow I get the feeling that they'd at least visit me if I wound up in the hospital. Oh yeah, they would. I, 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 I guarantee, maybe not Rin, I don't know. Emmy would, though. I focus on the view from the roof, banishing such thoughts from my head. There's a light breeze blowing and the sun is shining high in the sky. The sky itself is a deep blue, with hardly a cloud in it. It's gotten pleasantly warm. And as I sit down to wait for my friends, I close my eyes and enjoy the feeling of the sun seeping into my skin. Oh, night time. Night time. Night time. Voices intrude upon the edge of hearing. Seems to have fallen asleep on us, friend. Maybe he's faking to loss him to a false sense of security. Why would he do that? No idea. Still, he'd make a good point. We should kick him or something, make sure he's really asleep. Huh? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Emmy looms over me like only a short girl can, peering at me intently. Oh, you're awake. I guess we don't have to kick you then. Was it part of your master plan? What are you talking about? Emmy shrugs, her twin tails bouncing with emotion. I'm not sure either. You must be pretty tired to fall asleep out here. Although it's pretty comfortable, I suppose. She plops down next to me and begins to eat. Bunk. Rin sits opposite from the two of us, a move which only makes me more aware of the girl sitting next to me. If I didn't know any better, I swear Rin did it on purpose. I concentrate on my food, trying to tune out the majority of the conversation that Rin and Emmy are having. Despite my best efforts, however, I find myself glancing over at Emmy whenever she speaks. I notice how she purses her lips when she's thinking about something, squinting slightly as if that would help her improve her thinking ability. You know, some people do that, you know, they kind of like get like a weird face going on. Yep, it's just you know, something that happens. Rin says something that makes Emmy laugh. I notice perhaps for the first time how she laughs with her whole body rocking back and forth, head thrown back, almost like she's about to fall over. I probably look like a creep. It's about that time that I realized Emmy's looking at me. Her voice raised slightly, so she's probably just asked me a question. Huh? Sorry, I kind of zoned out for a moment there. Emmy rolled her eyes, while a slight quirk of the eyebrow is the only sign that Rin's even paying attention. I said, did you get a career survey in your class too? You know, one of those what do you want to do after high school things? I don't think so. Maybe we'll get one tomorrow. What are you going to put down? That's a really good question. I guess I always figured I'd go college after high school, but I have no idea what i do once I got there. With a heart attack and all, I've really been concentrating on each day as it came rather than making long-term plans. I suppose I can safely start planning ahead again. I've always liked having at least a vague plan for my future, so it'll be nice to come up with one again. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that right now I've got absolutely no clue. <laughs> I always kind of assumed I'd figure it out in college, that or just become a salary man. That's pretty popular. That's why I said people who ask me to, I'm like, no idea. I'm just, I'm gonna have a good time doing YouTube videos right now. If it turns into something, hell yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> if it doesn't, well, I'll do something else. We'll continue doing this, because I like doing it. Do I really want to? That's a tough question. 
I guess I don't really want to do anything. You don't sound very excited about that one, do you? She laughs as she says this, and I'm caught up in her laugh again. It's so girlish. Well, she's a fucking girl, dumbass. High and giggly, like a, well, pardon the cliche, like a babbling brook. Ha <laughs> ha. It bubbles out of her, starting her belly, working its way up her throat. I can't help but laugh myself. It's infectious. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty unhappy with the salary man idea, but to be honest, I haven't given much thought to the future recently. I suppose that these days I'm more concerned about with living one day at a time. Emmy considers this for a moment and grins. That's a pretty good idea, Hisao. I just wrote down pirate. I'm momentarily stunned, then I start laughing. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop myself and manage to gasp out a question. You're you're not serious, are you? Emmy looks mock offended. Well I've got the legs for it already, so I just kinda figured. <laughs> Even Rin seems amused by this. Just you wait, I'll be the terror of the high seas. I'll show you all. I'll even been working on my pirate voice. She suddenly springs up and begins swaggering up and down the rooftop shouting orders. Yar me hearties, give up wait, it has to be a girl too though. Yar me hearties, give them a broadside with the long guns. I can't pirate girl? Mm-mm. Not working. Well where are the guts for garters? Do you even know what that means? Rin's unexpected interruption stops Emmy in her tracks. Not really, but it's all in the delivery. The ringing of the bell prevents her from demonstrating her point further. Emmy dashes off immediately, leaving Rin and myself alone on the roof. Rin stares at me intently for a few moments. Is there something wrong? Rin considers this question closely for a moment. After a lengthy pause, she shakes her head. Nope. Oh, um, why the staring then? Rin shakes her head again. Nope, I don't get it. Get what? staring thing. You two seem to, but I don't. Great, she saw me staring. Now she probably thinks I'm a pervert or something. Actually, probably not. This is Rin we're talking about, after all. So I feel the need to defend myself. I wasn't staring, I was just tired. Yeah, bullshit. Rin actually snorts at this, but she doesn't say anything, see? No, really, I was just distracted is all. Mmm. Eager to end this conversation, I head back down to class. <laughs> I'm greeted by the twin specters of Sh Shizun and Misha. Misha. Looking like they mean business. Well, Shizun looks like they mean business anyway. Misha just looks like she's about to start laughing at any minute. Up on the roof again, Chan. You know that's dangerous, don't you? Da -da -da. That's right. The school cannot be held responsible for any injury that comes from being up there, you know. Furthermore, we could report you for breaking the rules. Misha leans in and whispers, <laughs> But we won't, Chan. You three are too cute together. She straightens up again, laughing at my sudden blush. Wah! <laughs> You're too easy to tease, Chan. Hey, come on. I'm still new here, sort of. Isn't that mean to pick on the newcomer like this? Nope! <laughs> it's to help you get acclimated with your new surroundings. Ah, I see. Well, you have to be so overzealous about it? Yep! <laughs> ah, that aside, Chan, we were looking for you this morning, but you weren't in your room. Of course I wasn't. I was up for my morning exercise or here in class bright and early. Unlike you. Shizun looks peeved, and a, and a beat later, so does Misha, or she tries to, at any rate. That was because of student council business. She should be grateful that we worked so hard for you. Oh, I am, I am. So what did you need me for? Not another attempt to rope me into the dirty work, I hope. We have to give you something, but since you weren't around, we dropped it off in your room. Something. Like what? Oh, you'll find out when you get back, Hichan. <laughs> Mateo entering the room ends our conversation, and we all head to our seats. It's only after I settled down at my desk and the teachers started talking about something or other that something odd strikes me. What did Rin mean? You two seem to. Was Emmy staring at something too? For a brief moment, I considered the possibility that Emmy was staring at me the way I was staring at her. Of course, that's ridiculous. Nah, it's not ridiculous. Still, I can't deny that I wouldn't mind if it were true. Yeah. But it's best not to think about that. No need to get my hopes up. That's also true. Lots of truth. Come to think of it, when did I start having hopes like that anyway? Uh, when you hugged her? I don't know. I shake my head and attempt to clear it and focus on the lesson. Shutter shade. After class, I make my way to my room. Muto really piled on the homework today. God damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Before I can open my door, however, I'm suddenly intercepted by Kenji, who has just exploded of a, out of his room in a flurry of papers. Hey, we need to talk. These rooftop shenanigans of yours, man. They've got to stop. What? You're running around on the rooftop with the limbless wonders. 